This is Late Night Health. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. Hi, I'm Mark Allen. Along with the insane Daryl Wayne, we're going to talk about a wide variety of health topics and issues that touch each and every one of us. You know, last night my wife and I were talking and she walked over and Carol gave me a big hug and said, you know, the most important thing, we have our health. And she's right. And that's what this show is all about. Taking a look at health from a wide variety of angles and views. Sure, having a ton of money would be great. I'm working on it. However, without health, you really don't have anything. Uh, We're going to spend the next two hours talking about, uh, uh, well, cancer during hour two. And also leadership marketing from two perspectives. Mally is coming in from SOAR. And we're also going to be talking about leadership from Robert Clancy. Uh, They know each other. I introduced them. They've become friends, and I don't believe they talked before they knew they were being on the show. They both have the same topic. Kind of strange. Uh, Daryl and I are going to talk about something, because I have a bee to pick. And um, a bee to pick? A bee. Uh, Is that right? I don't think so. No, but I I was trying to make it clean. I think you have bees in your bonnet, and you pick bones. Oh, okay. Well, I have bees in my bonnet, and I want you to help me... Get them out of there. And you have a bone to pick. And I have a bone to pick. That's it. Um, And we're going to be talking about health insurance. Okay? Very confusing. Doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Uh, However, we're going to spend some time with a really good friend of mine. He's he's actually helped uh, Daryl and me with our websites. And we appreciate that. You can check out his work at... Uh, latestfromthegreatest.com latestfromthegreatest.com that's Daryl's and of course latenighthealth.com I am speaking about Swami S. Tirtha or the orange cowboy the hip guru my friend Swami Swami welcome back to Late Night Health Joy, joy, joy Mark great to be here thanks for inviting me back my pleasure just so you know with the holidays coming up many people start spacing out. They get anxious. They get annoyed. They don't want to spend the time with their loved ones or so-called loved ones because it, it's aggravating. And Swami has graciously uh, said he would help us get through these times with some uh, suggestions. Swami, welcome to Late Night Health. Thanks so much, Mark. I'm really interested in something, and that is, have you in your years of practice seen people just freak out at the holidays? Well, that's it's quite common for, for a lot of different reasons. Whether, as you said, some people, they, they don't get along well. Others, they, they want to do such a good job, they get stressed out cooking for starting to cook a week or two in advance or wanting things to be just perfect there's a lot of a lot of different reasons why the holidays sometimes it's you know there are people who have lost loved ones and around the holidays or just in any time and having them not be there is another uh, emotional holidays are a big time people feel lonely or, or or lost or depressed which is why just after the first of the year it's one of the highest suicide times hmm it's, it's yeah. uh, which is really sad. I know that I miss my mom during the holidays, um, and my dad, and my grandparents. Uh, it, it was just a, it was a good time. Growing up was a was good and fun. Right. Yet today, people, as you said, as we've said, don't get along. They get stressed. They remember their loved ones who have passed over, and it's. It's sad. Is there are there ways to combat that? To well, the, make the holidays are, to make the holidays happy. Yeah, how to have more joy during the holidays? Really, those holidays they're there to celebrate something. So let's let's get on the celebration track. If there's enough challenges the rest of the time. <laughs> let's at least celebrate during the time we have with our family. Gotcha. Uh, more joy. 
Uh, Robert uh, Clancy, uh, who will be coming up a little bit later on in the show, a, a friend of a mutual friend of ours, uh, yours and mine, and right. and and Daryl uh, says there's endless love. Is there endless joy available? Yeah, I absolutely believe there is. There's endless everything. You know, whatever you put your attention on grows. So if you want to look for the, the worst in the situation, you'll always find it. And if you want to look for the best in the situation, you will always find it. It's just that that muscle, Mark, hasn't been exercised so much. So, you know, it's like your your first time you work out, you only do a little bit, you only walk for a half a mile, and slowly you build up your stamina. And you really need to do that with uh, looking for joy, looking for gratitude in life. And well, it takes a little bit of while to, for the joy more. The, the gratitude is really a great first step. When you agree, when you're going to this, let's say you're going to Thanksgiving, and you're thinking about all these people that may be stressing you out, instead of that, take a moment, take a deep breath, put your hand on your heart, and think about somebody you love, and breathe, and you'll start to feel better right away, just like that, in an instant. And then start to think about, make a list if it's too hard to think about it. Put it on paper. What are you grateful for about the people you're going to meet? Think of a time when something wonderful happened with your cousin or your your brother or something loving your parents did for you or children. Or It's a really good way to just put the best light on everything. So all you have to do is put your hand on your heart. Yeah, put your hand on your heart. You could do it now. Everybody could just put their hand on their heart. Okay. Think about the person they love the most or the the pet they love the most or if you have a sonata more than anything else or a place in nature. Uh, if, if, if you're religious or spiritual and there's a place that really connects you to God or spirit, whatever whatever's the best experience for you, put your hand on your heart. Think about that. Feel that in your heart, and then breathe in. Nice. And breathe right into your heart and feel your heart expand with that loving feeling. And that, and, and then, doing, and and starting now. I mean, you know, we're weeks away from Thanksgiving. Three weeks away, I think. Uh, we're in the first week of first full week of of November. Right, and so I think we're about three weeks or two and a half weeks away from Turkey Day for those of us who eat turkey, and for those who don't, it will be turf, tor, Tofuki tof, Day. Tofurki, tof, yeah, tofurki. <laughs> yeah. Um, and actually, the best you know what the best meal of Thanksgiving is, and Daryl, you can that? weigh in on this too. And that's the day after. I like sandwiches, <laughs> turkey uh -oh. sandwiches. Um, I think that that's do you, do you is that good for you, Daryl? Well, we usually don't uh, end up with too many le leftovers. Maybe some mashed potatoes and stuffing. Stuffing omelets are always good uh, with a good little uh, po uh, po poached egg on top. Ooh, I haven't done that. I just eat the. I just warm it up because I really do like stuffing. All right. Um, our guest is uh, the Orange Cowboys, Swami S. Uh, Tirtha. Uh, you can check him out at uh, thehipguru.com. And he's giving us some ideas uh, to bring more joy to the holidays. And we're doing this early. We had actually scheduled this for a week or two down the line. And it occurred to me that we should do it earlier so people can practice and get that joy going. Yeah, so I'll tell you, Mark, an actual experience with the meditation I just taught you. Sure. I, I teach I teach a three-hour beginner meditation course with advanced results. And this summer, I was teaching the class, and one of the women, the, everybody has their own issues, and one of them was with, with a family member, somebody, the, the sister-in-law or their brother-in-law, and they didn't talk to them. They didn't talk for years. And so during, for her exercise, she worked on releasing all of the issues and finding something to be grateful for about that person. And just as the workshop was ending, she comes up to me and she's so excited. She says, 
I just got a text from my my sister in law. She invited me over for dinner. Wow! And that was the one that she was yeah. having problems with for years. She released whatever it was from her side. She saw what she loved in that person, what she was grateful for, the joy they had together, and somehow that woman just sort of melted her heart also, and by distance, you know, six hours away or more, just wow. connected with her. That's it's really very powerful. And your idea to to have this interview today gives everybody a few weeks to basically energetically from your heart hopefully resolve or or near resolve all those issues and so the second step I would say is uh, Mark is to imagine what an ideal relationship would be like at the at the uh, gathering right so that when you say to Uncle Ned hey pass the Brussels sprouts he doesn't throw them at you right well you know let's say Uncle Ned and you used to we're going to take some time out when we come back let's talk about Brussels sprouts and Uncle Ned at the Thanksgiving table Uh, I'm Mark Allen along with the insane Daryl Wayne this is Late Night Health join us at LateNightHealth.com Facebook.com slash Late Night Health Radio Swami and I and Daryl return as Late Night Health moves forward for this holiday season. Welcome to Guide to the Soul. This is Robert Clancy. Opening your heart is the only way to allow all the light in. Unconditional love does exist, but it takes trust, something not a lot of people are willing to give. But how can you expect it if you don't provide it too? All hearts are refillable, rechargeable, and renewable. So why worry about being burned? By giving, you have everything to gain. Think of how beautiful your life would be if someone loved you without barriers gave all of their heart to you without conditions, and wrapped their soul around you like it was your last day on earth. Today, you can be that person for someone else. For more inspiration from Robert Clancy, visit GuideToTheSoul.com or go to the Moments with Robert page on LateNightHealth.com. If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPO plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network, the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-296-1252, 800-296-1252, 800-296-1252, that's 800-296-1252.